Well, we're here at the National Association of Women in Construction 2019 Awards Night, and what an exciting night. And standing next to me is Sarah Duncan from Canberra Airport, who's taken out Tradeswoman of the Year. Sarah, an amazing achievement, 16 years in the industry. Uh, your dad, you credited your dad tonight for getting you into it, and you've been nine years with Canberra Airport. How do you feel? I feel absolutely ecstatic right about now. I honestly didn't expect to take this award out tonight, so completely unprepared, but other than that, oh, I'm still shaking. <laughs> and you know, you talked about your dad tonight in um, in your speech. W what inspired, um, you know, what, what about him inspires you to, to work in this area? I enjoyed seeing what he did, what he, what he was doing, what he would talk about. So when the opportunity came to work, like he was short staffed at the time and he's like, hey, I need a, a filler in or <laughs> can you be that filler in or And I was like, sure, why not? You know, happy to lend a hand. And after 12 months of doing it, I was just like, this is sick. Like I'm loving this. Uh, so you became your dad's apprentice? Pretty much. <laughs> we didn't see eye to eye all the time, but it was it was still good though, still good. And nine years with Canberra Airport. That's a that's a long time. They're they're great. Um, they're great members in, in the industry, but members of the property sector. Um, what about Canberra Airport keeps you getting up in the morning? Uh, it's just like I was in construction for seven years, and when I made the shift to Canberra Airport, it just it's a completely different world being in the runway lighting system like category. It's just. It's so different and so intriguing and always really challenging. Like everything's always changing. It's absolutely insane. And oh, my first year I was addicted. Like runway lighting is what I love and that's where I'm at and that's what I'm glad to be doing, so. Yeah. And what about the people? What's sort of made a difference for you as a woman in the industry? What's kept you going? Have you had mentors or, you know, who are the people that you look up to and, and keep you that driving force going through, through your career? Um, so I definitely can say my father because when I first started my apprenticeship women weren't very regarded in the industry um, and I had him being like you know what don't care that you're a woman you're good at your job keep doing it and I was like hell yeah you know this is I'm doing well so keep going same with when I started the airport my supervisor who's still my supervisor to this day, he's similar in mentality. I got there and he was just like, guys, she's a woman, but she's here to do her job and she's gonna be good at her job. So let's let's get her in, let's get her going. And they, it's the guys like that that make the industry worthwhile, you know, because they don't look at you as a woman and be like, oh, you're a woman, you can't do that. They actually look at you as a person instead for you, for what you can do. So, and that's what makes it freaking amazing, guys like that. So if you looked back at when you started your career 16 years ago, what would you tell yourself back then if you're you know, standing from this point as the, as the tradeswoman of the year, what would you tell her? Oh, don't let those who believed you shouldn't be there get to you so much, 100%. Well, congratulations. Thanks so much for joining us. And um, yeah, it's great to interview uh, one of the winners tonight, the tradeswoman of the year, 2019 Narwick Awards. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you.